shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move! Is that what you think I'm after? Never mind. Don't answer that. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Can't say I understand that. I'm not sure I want to. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own, Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up, cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. I wonder how she feels about trepanning. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Should mind my staff. Something over there. You're gonna be... I'm gonna buy the end of your kids. And you hang a bunch of... Limits. Leave. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. <laughs> no need. Should be able to stand soon enough. Once this bloody potion wears off. From 
the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Of course, she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. <sighs> All right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Wait, but... All right. Don't be long. All the bloody things... Oh, thank you. You'll still heal me, right? My foot. It moved. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Any goblin comes near me now, and they'll regret it. I feel amazing. Look, you're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Look, between us, you're not supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Yeah, the evil thing's in the chest. Please, leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, there's nothing like a pain in the noggin to addle you. You need to look after that head of yours. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? Then let all down the ethel have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. Oh, blessed helm. That sounds horrible. I don't know how I'd handle such a thing. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. Shh, it's all right. All you need is a bit of love and care, don't you think? If I was back in my tea house, I'd make you a cuppa and tell you to put your feet up. Alas, here I can only tell you to be kind to yourself, Petal. And encourage you to browse my bits and pieces, of course. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Myself included. What else am I here for? 
Goodbye now, Petal. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! But I confess, that doesn't explain all your symptoms. Some of the things you told me, why, I've never heard of a parasite doing that. This is serious. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Petal. Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Nay, hey, bother, love. By the way, I'll be heading home soon. Be sure to come visit you here. Lotions and potions for all ail... Oh, no! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, dearie. Are you hot, cold, feverish? Hey, bother. Intestines throb, blood whispers. Care now, sweetie. Oh, what I do for some the trader has no problem with you inspecting these goods so long as you're willing to pay for them. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Step, parry, step and swing. Yes! Step. I saw you at the gates. <laughs> you fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. when they smile. Look at them beaming. You did that. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Bring me a goblin. I'm gonna gut it. Next time
time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Don't push it, kid. If you see trouble, then run. Only fight if you have to. Next time, I'm fighting too. No matter what Asherak says. Oh. Uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Never wanted the easy path. I'd swear that Ox's gaze is following me. That's curious. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. We're cornered in this place. Even the bloody druids look like they might turn on us. Be gone. I am hungry. Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Or rocks. The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. When the Horned Ones leave this place, I will lie in the back, and you will pull, Noble One. Ah, oh, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. Going to get us killed. Mm, grass. I have no more to say. Even old hay tastes better than your idle chatter. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> 